What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon TCG live video. So today we're going to go ahead and be using a Maridon EX deck. This deck uh, was a little bit more popular when the base uh, Scarlet Violet set came out. Not so much now, but you'll still come across a few. Now, this is the deck that we're going to be using. We'll go over it a little bit more um, at the end of the video like we normally do. I'm very excited to use this deck because we have a lot of Chen Pao running around. Chen Pao is dominating the meta right now, and I think Maridon EX is still a very good deck that can come in and get stuff done um, maybe a little bit quicker than the Chen Pao. Of course, the Chen Pao has a little bit more of a punch, um, but we're going to go ahead and dive into the first game right off the bat. I got a feeling that we're going to be against Chen Pao deck right off the bat. I sound like a broken record saying that, but... Um, I got a feeling that's also what we're going to be using, or not using, but going against the entire video. So my opponent is bringing in a Gengar coin. I'm really hoping, if it is a Chen Pao deck, I am really hoping that we can go ahead and go first. That way we can get our own strategies set up. Coin flip starts. It's a heads. My opponent probably won the coin flip. That does confirm it. And um, I'm probably going to go second. There it is. Confirmation. Okay. How have you guys been? I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos that we've been putting out for you guys. So, um, starting hand, we get a Mareep and a Regieleki. I actually do not mind this. Because we have the Nest Ball, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and bring in is going to be the Maridon. My opponent does get a Mulligan. It's a Water deck with a Rare Candy. I got a really strong feeling that this is going to be a Chen Pao deck. And the sleeves kind of bring that strong suspicion. My opponent probably knows I'm playing him right on deck too because of my card sleeves. So we will see what's going on. Now, um, it just depends on what my opponent is going to start off with. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the nest ball right off the bat. We're going to bring in the Maridon. We're going to use Maridon's ability to bring in an, a Regieleki. Um... We're going to bring in a, a base Regieleki. I want to bring in another Mareep. And I don't know what other card I'm planning to bring in. Maybe um, another Maridon or something like that. Stack our bench up immediately. Now, um, the first supporter card that we're more than likely going to use is going to be a Professor's Research. I want to try to get momentum going as fast as possible. Now, my opponent brings in the Palkia Origin form, which is times two weak to electric. That's going to be really huge. If we can boss that thing up bright and early, we might be at an advantage. We really don't want them to set up um, with the Brax with the Baxcalibur either. So um, it's gonna be it's gonna come down to who can get set up quicker. So Ultra Ball, I got a feeling they're gonna go ahead and bring in the the uh, Frigibex. So discard is a two energy card that they just picked up. And they're probably running the uh, superior energy retrieval. So a pretty good move by my opponent. And they bring in the Palkia Origin form. So with this in mind, I'm down to escape rope before we, we hit the Professor's Research. So concealed cards, going to discard to draw two. We're back at a hand count of six. My opponent is at least. And I just, they don't, I hope they don't have a free Bex. So let's see. I'm totally down to escape rope, especially after that. Okay. So depending on what we draw here, we get another energy card, which I really don't mind. I'm going to bring in the Maridon right off the bat. And we're going to use the ability ASAP. What we're going to do, we're going to bring in the Mareep. We're going to bring in another Maridon EX. We want to get set up as quick as possible. We're going to hit up the tandem unit one more time, and we're going to bring in two Regieleki V. So this sets up our bench, and it sets it up beautifully. Now, um, the thing is, I might have to pass this next turn. It really does depend. So we're going to go ahead and escape rope here. And I feel good hitting the energy switch shortly. I don't know what my opponent is going to bring in. But depending on what they bring in, I'm totally down to hit up the Uregieleki. Put my opponent in a really tough spot. 
Next turn, I'll feel comfortable hitting the Professor's Research. I think what I'm going to do this turn, I'm going to bring in the Reg Regieleki. That's number one. Attach an energy card. And the reason behind that is because I got an energy switch for a reason. We're going to bring this in here. And we're simply going to go ahead and hit the switching bolt for 60. This means that it's going to get knocked out next turn. And I'll just bring in the other Regieleki. Now, this sets me up beautifully because I can bring in the Regieleki VMAX. Um, we don't have two energy in the discard pile. But what I'm really down to do is bring in the Professor's Research, discard this energy card here. Um, and then I'm going to hope that I get two Flaffy or... Um, to level ball it just depends so i think we're set up perfectly my opponent doesn't have the frigio x and i don't think they have anything to play to be honest with you there's the palkia v-star that we saw a turn prior but uh, aside from that i really don't think they have much to hit us with there's the nest ball they're probably going to bring in the frigio x or a um chen pao those would be the two best options right now there's the Friggy Backs. Is it Friggy Backs or Friggy Backs? I, I'll call it Friggy Backs. <laughs> Such a cute Pokemon. The first time I encountered this in Scarlet and Violet, I was very odd. What they're probably going to do is bring in the Backs Caliber, and then they're going to bring in a Rare Candy. Watch it. I'm a genie, so call me Hoopa. Oh, Escape Room and a Luminian. What they're probably going to do is hit up the escape rope right now. This is going to force us to bring in this Regieleki. Which, again, I, I really don't mind. There's a Luminian. They've already played a supporter card. Just don't bring in the boss's orders. That's all I'm asking for. If they bring the boss's order, I'm going to hope to get an um, Iono. Or Iono. Ion, like an Ion, Iono, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to hope to get an Iono so that I can mix up the cards in the hand and make that Luminian useless. I would have saved that Luminian if I, if I were my opponent. Another Iridia. So what they're probably going to do next turn is get the rare candy and then evolve. It'd be a good move. It'd be a really, really good move for my opponent. And sealed cards is going to discard one and draw two. For all we know, they might evolve this turn. You never know. You never know. There's the escape rope. We're going to stick with what we're going to do. Bring in the Reggie Alecki. My opponent would probably bring in the Chin Pao. And then hit me for 120. I'm really hoping to bring in the Photon Blaster next turn. What I'm really going to hope for is the electric generator i think is what it's called it's the uh item card that will allow you to attach up to four five energy so there's a shivery chill this confirms what um i assume my opponent was going to do and they're gonna hit me for a hellblade for 120. i really really hope that they don't evolve At this point, because this Regieleki is going to have damage, I think I'm going to bring in or um, evolve the clean one. But because this one has a bigger HP pool, we might be better off evolving this one. We'll see. There's another Chen Pao. Maybe for 120. I know you want to hit me. This match just got started, and I feel like it's already a good game. Please do not bring in the Braxcalibur. He's going to bring in the Braxcalibur. I got a feeling. Oh, the Palkia. I eventually want to get rid of this. The V-Star uh, ability, the Star Portal, is a little... And they're going to use it right now. It's very dangerous. That means that my opponent's going to take the two um, prize cards just by simply knocking this out right now. 
they got six energy card. And that means that they're going to have to discard four water energy cards. At this point, I would not mind not having... Um, actually, we would need the uh, Iono still. Because my opponent still has the Iridia and, uh, on, on their hand. And that's just going to mean that they're going to be able to, to evolve the Frigibacks next turn. No matter what. Discard your four. Go ahead. Iono would actually be clutch right now. There's the 240, just like we suspected. At this point, because I only have two Regieleki, I'm gonna bring in a Maridon. I think these Maripa are a little too valuable for us right now to lose. So we'll go ahead and bring in the Maridon. Okay. This means, there she is. That was very clutch. I actually do not mind that at all. Okay, we're gonna have to shuffle in the energy switch for now. I'm totally fine switching up their cards, and I hope they don't get another um, Iridia. This is perfect right here because now we get to bring in a Level Ball and the Mareep, or Fla Flaffy. My apologies. Now, I'm, I'm gonna have to get rid of my boss's orders. I'm totally fine doing that. And I'm gonna bring in the, this, yeah, we'll do that. We'll bring in the Radiant Greninja. I, I save this because I want to build my hand up. So we're going to go ahead and hit the Dynamotor. We're going to bring this in right here. Hit up the other one. And then, it, depending on what they got in their hands, it's, it's going to determine things. One, two. And I'm not going to let them knock me out that easily. This will allow me to set up with Flappy next turn. And then I get to switch for free and take something. What is that? I don't know. But I'm going to take something this upcoming turn. I'm really focused right now, and I feel like I'm playing at a good level right now. I just hope this deck doesn't let me down. I hope I messed up my opponent's strategy. I really, really hope so. Now, Palkia V-Star is kind of stuck. I'm running two bosses order. I don't have a Pal Pad. So that means I only have one in my deck. I should have probably switched to see if I have an... Or not switched, but search to see if I have another bosses orders in my deck. This would have been a good idea to search my prize pool and see how I should play this deck moving forward. So my opponent ends. This means that they're stuck. Which is perfect. I don't mind getting rid of the Raichu because I got two of them. Um, I'm cool with using the Radiant Greninja to draw my two. Bring in my two. Two more energy cards. That's perfectly fine. We're going to hit this up next. Oh, we're in a really good spot right now. I feel really good. Really, really good. We're going to go ahead and hit up the Dynamotor. Bring this one in. I don't want to use... Um, switch for obvious reasons i'm gonna take the chin pow right now give me it next turn i'll be able to take any other pokemon as well any pokemon i want there's the electric generator and i think i don't want to say game without saying game <laughs> but we're at a really really good spot right now really really good all I need now is going to be the beach court. If I can get the beach court, then it's it's game over. We'll see my what my opponent wants to do. Maybe my opponent has quit. We'll see. I think they just quit. <laughs> I think that happened automatically. I think my opponent's done. If I were my opponent, I'd bring this in. No, actually not even worth. 
I'm cool with getting rid of this. This puts us at a tough spot. I'm okay with getting rid of the Ridge Galecki. Given that Jin Pao got 220, everything else got 220. Maraidon can one shot everything without needing the Ridge Galecki. Now we got rid of both of our Regieleki, which is uh, not the best thing in the world, but we can manage without it. This means that we can nest ball into a Raichu next. The star, the subspace well is gonna knock us out. There's the energy card. We're gonna get knocked out right here. And I'm okay with that, because I can play an Iono. There's the Concealed Cards. Please do not. If, if my opponent gets the Gosh Tarn Braxcalibur, it's game over. That's what it's going to come down to. I just hope he's running two of them. <laughs> There's the Subsway Swell. Going to knock us out at 220. This is going to be our opportunity to bring in the Maridon. Best believe I'm hitting him up with an Iono next turn. I don't care if that puts us at a hand disadvantage either. Now, I'm not going to bring in the Raichu right away because that would set us up to be knocked out for the, uh, with the Chin Pao. So what we are going to do, we're going to hit this up right here, bring in the Nest Ball, bring in my only Raichu that's remaining, and that's my last... Um, that's... Oh, 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 I, I did not mean to do that. We're gonna. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. The good news is I got two of them, so I, I meant to play the electric generator. We got none, and that's perfectly fine. We're gonna switch it up one more time. My opponent's probably like, what is this guy even doing? I'm a noob. <laughs> We're gonna uh, dynamotor, bring in the energy card to the Raichu. And we're gonna put my opponent at a really, really tough spot. I'm gonna hit up the Yono. My opponent's gonna have two cards. Just two cards. Okay, so we got the boss's orders, and that's gonna be game as long as as long as the Chien Pao is not a problem towards the Maridon. Grab my two. There's my uh, my third Maridon. Honestly, this deck only needs two Maridon. <laughs> but it can vary. It's actually working very well for us. I've been playing, I've been test playing this deck for a couple months now, and I've took some cards out, I've put some cards in, and I think this is a deck strategy that works. Obviously, there's a lot of things you can still do with this deck. I can probably bring in a Drapion, because um, this deck probably won't excel against a, um, a gosh darn Mew deck. I'll probably add the Drapion. Get rid of one of the Maridon and add a Drapion just because it wouldn't hurt. And I'll probably do that after this battle. Okay, there's the Chin Pao. We put my opponent at a very tough spot. And I think we can win. This next turn is GG's. If not this turn. Look at the time difference. My opponent has taken quite some time to decide what they want to do. This game is not over by any means because what my opponent can possibly do, and I'm going to knock on my table right now, is have a rare candy and have a Bax Caliber, evolve the Freaky Bax, use the Shivery Chill, and take us out. And of course, the, the concealed cards just adds to his hand. Or their hand. I hope I'm very wrong. I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not predicting this to the dot. My opponent still has supporter um, availability. So that's another thing that we need to be mindful of. They've only played two supporter cards. Whereas we have played... We played two Iono. And I don't remember if we played a Professor's Research. There's the Candice. What does this do? Oh, nothing. Wow. We got lucky. We got hella lucky. 
I don't think they have the uh, Brax Caliber. I don't think they have it. Yeah, baby, we got it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. And we got the beach court to top things off. We're gonna go ahead and straight up um, retreat. We're gonna bring in the Raichu. And then this is 60 times, um, times six, so 120, and this is game. This is game. So we're gonna get rid of one, two, three. We're just gonna do all of them. Exit out, one, two, and that's game. Baby, we just got the dub against the Chin Pao deck. That was a, actually a very, very good first battle. Very, very good. So we switched one of the Maridon. We're going to try something different. This is live editing. We're going to go ahead and try to remove one of three Maridon. And we're going to replace the one Maridon with a uh, drapion see if that does anything for us i don't think it will in these lower tiers that we're playing at right now um there was a ladder reset and um we basically got dropped down a tier a tier two so we haven't seen a whole lot of mu v decks um but let's see i'm okay starting reggie Alecki. the free retreat is oh we we don't have a free retreat but the switching bolt is good nevertheless and I'd be okay with this. Um, we got three Falafi. My opponent's playing a fire deck. Look at this. Burn brightly. That's actually a very good Charizard. So this gives us a good idea of what we're going against. And this is going to be a very interesting battle. One that does not involve a um, Maridon or a Chin Pao. Look at this. We got another one. I'm going to say we don't need this one. We really don't need this one. Infernate V. That's actually cool. We're going to go ahead and hit the Nest Ball. And what we're going to do right off the bat is get the Radiant Greninja. I do want to go ahead and bring in the two Mareep that we're needing. Oh, that means we got, what, two of them in the prize? We got two of them in the prize. Let's see what else we got. We got one of the Regieleki. We got a Raichu on play or on deck. One of my Iono is on there. One of my Ultra Ball, right? Yep, one Ultra Ball. I got my Nest Ball and uh, a couple of energy cards. Okay, so that kind of answers a few things for me. I'm actually okay with just bring in, bringing in the one Marie. What we're also going to do is bring in the Beach Court. And unfortunately, we don't have any energy cards. What I'm ultimately going to have to do is bring in the Yono next. I don't know what to do here, so we're just going to go ahead and, and call it a turn for now. It's very unfortunate that we didn't get any, any, any energy cards. An energy card would have been good right now. Because now my opponent can hit us for what, 30? For each heads? Okay, that's a tells. We're good. Okay. I don't want to get rid of this Maridon. We're going to take things a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Iono. I know this puts my opponent at six cards in hand. It's just one more than what they had. Okay, because this is why I wanted to try to hit this, because now we got an electric generator. We got the two um, energy cards. Okay. That is good. That is very, very good. Now, um, we're going to bring in a Nest Ball. I'm okay with bringing in the Maridon next, because... You know, we can always potentially get ready for a knockout or for one of our Pokemon to be knocked out. We're going to take the opportunity to get rid of the Infernape. We're going to play another Electric Generator because we can, and we're going to attach it to this Maridon. Now we got one energy on deck. We're going to bring in the Falafi, or not bring in, but use its ability. Attach it. There you go. This deck is just too powerful. This is battle number three of the video. My opponent rage quit the last turn. Don't ask me why. <laughs> you guys probably know why. Take some X's. X marks the spot. We're going to get more W's. Let's see what kind of deck we play. Get the tails. Do we get to choose? Yes, I want to go first. This deck excels at going first. Ooh, nothing great, but I will take a Regieleki for now. 
What we'll probably have to do is hit the Ultra Ball, bring in a Maridon, get rid of one of these energy. I would be totally down to do that because we got the Electric Generator. The question... Oh, that is a nice Regieleki art. So this is going to be a mirror match. We don't even have to bring in uh, an Ultra Ball here. We can simply do this. We're going to bring in two of these. I sh probably should have done another Maridon. And I'm... Uh, it, it is what it is. Um, I don't want to do the Beach Court right now. Because that can potentially place my opponents at a net advantage. We're going to do this. And we got none. Out of all the cards in our deck, we got none. Um... I'm going to call it turn for now. I know we don't got any of our energy cards, which is fine. So we'll see. This deck is going to come... This um, battle is going to come to... It's going to come down to who can get their energy set up first. There's the Greninja. And then there's two Raikou. Raikou is another card that is very, very good to this deck. With one retreat cost, Lightning Rondo can be very good. It's a quick energy setter. Or a quick attack setter. Also gives you the cards you're needing. Electric Generator is dirty. Please don't. That's, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, so this is going to do some pretty good damage to our Regieleki. More than what I wanted. And at this point, I would be okay with having Regia Lecky go down here. There's another concealed card, so my opponent's gonna draw two. I don't I do not want to Neo no next turn. There's the fleet uh Yeah, fleet footed. Another Regia Lecky. Another there's an Ultra Ball. My opponent is probably gonna bring in what? Regia Lecky V Max. Yep. There it is. Oh, they don't knock us out. Ah, oh, next turn we're going down, though. That's for sure. We're going to bring this in. I'm going to do Maridon again. The reason we're doing Maridon here is because I want to bring in... Do I want to bring this in? I'll bring um, both of these in. I don't care right now. Maybe a Greninja would have been would have done us good, but I'm okay with letting that go down for now. Um, We got no supporter card, so that puts us at a major disadvantage. Very big disadvantage. What I'm going to do here, I want to get the energy set up. I really, really want to get the energy set up. And then Regielek is going to go down, so I'd be okay with bringing in the Greninja next turn. And ultimately, we're going to have to pass for now. We're going to have to pass... I really hope I get a supporter card next turn. I really need a supporter card. I need something that'll get this deck going. That's the thing. There's a fleet, fleet footed. An energy card. My opponent now has two attackers. There's the other one. Gonna go for another fleet footed. And this is going to knock out. Another electric generator. Please don't get any more. They're, they got energy. They just got one, though. Okay, so... Unfortunately, Regieleki goes down. We're going to bring in the Raichu next. And this is where we're going to bring in the Radiant Greninja. Give me a supporter. Come on. Okay. We're going to have to hit the concealed cards, get rid of this energy, bring me a supporter card, please. Oh my goodness, this is ugly. Okay, this is where we're going to bring in the Falafi. And we're going to evolve this one. We have to evolve this one. Our Maridon is going to go down next turn, and that makes me a little bit sad. And that's going to place my opponent at an advantage for us, against us. We're going to retreat this, bring in the Maridon. And we're going to go ahead and hit the Photon Blaster. Now, I'm hoping that we get some kind of um, advantage against my opponent this turn. We got a few energy cards in here. Can we get an energy? That's not going to help us. 
They're going to hit with the Lightning Rondo. Because of this, it's going to knock us out. The next best option that we have is we're going to have to bring in the Raichu. And we're going to have to knock this thing out and hope for the best against both of these things. What he's probably going to do next is bring in another Raikou V. Oh, Magnezone. That's pretty dirty. Especially if he got the Magnezone V-Star here. Fleet footed. That's a very good ability for my opponent. None of these cards are going to do good against me. Or for me, I should say. So I really need an energy or a supporter card. If I can get a supporter card, that's going to make a difference maker. If I can get an Iono, that's going to be a difference maker. Unfortunately, our Maridon goes down. And um, ultimately, this is going to go down on what energy cards my opponent has on play. I need an Iono right now. Or an energy card. Give me an energy. Electric generator, not going to do anything for us. What I can do, however, um, I'm going to bring in a Regieleki just because I can. Then what we're going to do, what are we going to do? Let's hit the electric generator, see what I can get. We got two cards. Bring that in, bring that in. I would actually be okay with retreating the Raichu, going into Maridon, and then hope for the best. Okay, we're going to retreat this bad boy, or girl. It looks like it's a boy. Okay, and then we're going to hit the Dynamotor. Get this here, and we're going to get rid of the Raikou. My opponent has a hand advantage. Unfortunately, they're at the spot where they can actually win this game. Imagine if I get a boss's orders. This next draw, that would be pretty clutch. I don't think we're winning this. I hate to be negative, Nancy, but I don't think we're winning this. An Ultra Ball would be clutch too right now. There's another Raikou. My opponent can retreat. It's just a matter of do they have the other two energy cards? Oh, can we win this? How much energy cards do I have? One. Okay, so there's two ways in which, three ways in which I can win this. Two ways. Actually, two ways. Method number one, we retreat Mariadon, we bring in the Raichu, that's step one, and step two is going to be to bring in an energy card. We need to draw an energy card or a supporter card. The second method in which I win this, I get a boss's orders. Okay, so my opponent doesn't have any cards to draw. There's the energy, baby! Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to bring in the Raichu. We're going to retreat Maridon for free, and we're going to go ahead and bring in the Dynamotor Flaffy, and that should, I believe it, it's enough to knock out, yes! Oh man, that was the clutches card I've ever played. Okay, get rid of this and bring me this. We're knocking this out right now. Can you believe this? That was very clutch. <laughs> very, very clutch. We got no supporters. I don't think we got any supporters throughout this game. I'll have to rewatch the footage. But that was amazing. That last battle is exactly why I run a Raichu V instead of a Raikou V. It's just too good to not have it on this deck. You need to have at least one copy of Raichu V in order for this deck to do some heavy damage against your opponent's V Star, V Max, or even EX Pokemon. Because EX Pokemon have some pretty hefty health. So we obviously want to go first. This deck does a lot of damage when it goes first. So let's see what we got. Unfortunately, we have to mulligan. My opponent now knows exactly what we're trying to do, and they can plan accordingly. So we only got one mulligan, which is actually good news. The bad news is we don't got a Maridon, we don't got a Nest Ball. My opponent is going to draw a card. And I got to hope for the best next turn. Zero Aura. Okay. Not a good draw. Not a good draw at all. We're going to end our turn and we're going to hope for the best next turn. At this point, I'd be okay with the Yono, or I would be okay with um, Professor's Research and just ditch the hand. There's the Maridon. My opponent's going to get set up before we do. 
pretty cool Maridon art. Maridon's a really cool Pokemon overall. Gets two Regieleki down. Probably gonna play an energy card, get rid of, um, well, it's not gonna get rid of us, but it's gonna do some good damage. Electric Generator. Can get my opponent set up really quick. Gets one energy towards the uh, Regieleki V. And I think they're gonna pass. If they don't have an energy card, they're gonna pass. Energy search. Okay, so they are going to attach it to the Zero Aura. They're either gonna do that or attach it to the Regieleki. Trekking Shoes gets another. Oh, discards it. That is an energy card that they drew, though. Yep, there it is. Gonna do 30 damage. Okay. That's actually best case scenario for us. There's the Regieleki for us. We can go ahead and do this, and we're gonna hit the Regieleki up here. Now, um, I would honestly be okay just calling it turn here. We can do an energy switch next turn, depending on what we get, and we can take something with this. Because we got the boss's orders. Um, I really hope I draw the energy card next turn. Okay, another energy card towards the Regieleki. Please don't play any supporters. Okay, they're going to bring in two more cards. Probably a Flaffy and something else. Or sorry, Mareep. Oh, Raikou V and the Zero Aura. Those are not good for us. There's the Ultra Ball. They're probably going to bring in the Regieleki V Max by discarding two. There it is. We're obviously going to see an evolution here, and they're going to hit us for 30 more. I'm actually okay with it. Oh, wait a minute. It's an evolution card. They just took my Falafi for free, and I'm an idiot. Wow, I just messed things up for us. Okay. <laughs> Here's what we're going to have to do. Um, I'm okay with hitting an Iono here. Because we need more benched Pokemon. And the Nest Ball is actually good for us, especially considering we have a level ball. So we're going to do, we're going to bring in the Maridon here. And I'm going to need to bring in a second Maridon. So what we're going to do here, we're going to bring in one Flaffy, another Maridon. And I'm going to use this Maridon's ability so that we can bring one more Flat Marie. Now, level ball is going to be clutch. Ultra Ball is actually going to be good for us, too. I'm going to hit this up. And I would be okay with discarding both of these for another Mareep next turn. Or even a Greninja. So we'll see. We'll see what we draw. And that will determine our next moves. Our next, um, yeah, attacks. At this point, we have what? One energy? It's going to be two with this. So what I would actually be okay, depending on what I draw, I'm going to attach one energy. Hit the Ultra Ball. And then... We're going to have to game plan from there. I do not like the fact that they're setting up with the Regieleki. Professor's Research. We might have to bring in a gosh darn Raichu as well. Re another Regieleki. Oh, that's too much damage. This is going to do 60. And how much does this do? 30 more. So 120 to our VMAX Pokemon. And unfortunately, we'd probably get knocked out with this Regieleki. I would love the boss's orders right now. There's the 120. Okay, so there's an Iono. I'm actually okay with that. Really, really okay with that. It's just a matter of what do I want to do. I'm okay with hitting the Ultra Ball. We're going to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of that. So we can bring in one Greninja. And then we're going to go ahead and attach this here. We're going to hit the Iono up. I know my opponent's going to get more cards out of this. And I'm okay with that. Um, what we're going to do is hit up the electric generator. We got none. That is not good for us. At this point, I'm okay hitting the concealed cards. Give me something good. That looked pretty cool. Um, Beach Court is good. Don't want to use it right now considering, you know, the circumstances. Get rid of the Drapion. Get rid of the Switch considering we've got the Beach Court. And I want a Falafi. Give me a Falafi. I think a Falafi is totally worth right now. Dynamotor. 
I don't care which Maridon I attach it to. And we're going to just have to eat it and hit the max lightning. We're going to have to get knocked out next turn. Oh, man. This is going to be an L. This is going to be a fat L. Oh, it's just one. I'm so used to clicking two. Got an energy card out of it. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad. I don't think they have any energy cards. Otherwise, they would have gone into the Regieleki. I need to find a way to get rid of the Regieleki. I need. I actually need to get rid of this and bring in one of the Maridon. Brings in an Avery. That's actually rough for us. But it's okay because it lets us bring in the Raichu. Should have got rid of the Greninja. Because that's what? Two Mareep? One Mareep? Yep, that's two. That means we only got one to work with now. Oh, I'm really messing this up for us. That Raikou's going to do some heavy damage. They got set up with the Regieleki of their own. This is, a, this is an L. After three consecutive Ws, we get one L. That's actually not bad. And it's just because of what we've been drawing, to be honest. I obviously didn't execute very well in this game either, because I should have gotten rid of this. There's the trekking shoes. And they're, they should get rid of my uh, Reggie Alecki this turn. Yep. There it is. Um, I'm going to bring in the Greninja, because we got Beach Court set this up for now that's the only thing i can do we we got rid of our engine so we actually misplayed really bad that with that avery okay so we got the right shoe which is good not much we could do at this point though because that reggie like he's gonna get rid of us we're gonna bring that in we're gonna bring this in bring that and there's nothing that professor research can do for us to be honest but we're gonna do it anyways we can do this as well. But it's it's game over. All everything I'm doing I feel like is gonna be in vain, but we'll see. That actually works out. Okay. Can we get a professor's research or sorry, boss's orders? Yeah, baby! Okay. That's not going to do anything for us. Um, that actually is going to sum up the game for us. Because even then, a Lightning Rondo from this thing is going to do a lot of damage. That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. That's... Uh, it's, it's game over. So we're just going to bring in the Maraid and, and, and eat, the, eat the loss. Man, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Even if I had kept my um, other Marie, I don't think it would have made a big difference. My opponent just got the head start. There's the Arvin. And the Reggie like is obviously going to do the trick. Just the fact that my opponent got set up first is the reason why they're going to win this. And it's, it's a very well played game by my opponent. I'm not taking anything away from them. I, on the other hand, I feel like I played a little bit poorly. We'll go over the deck right after this match and then call it a video the electric generator is going to do the trick for my opponent all of all of what they're doing is unnecessary all they got to do is attack me and take their two prize cards and that's game take your two i don't know what they're trying to analyze but Maybe they don't see it. Oh, yeah, they do. That's just enough to get us knocked out. If I would have kept Greninja, and you guys let me know in the comments, I, I don't think it would have mattered, actually. Good game. Good game. So, this is our Maridon EX deck. Um, it works off of Falafi Engine, as you can see. It actually works very, very well once you get your engine set up. Regigaleki, to be honest, is there um, because of the damage that racks up most of the time it's not needed 
it's nice to have the extra damage especially if you're going against the ex decks because as you can see for example um there's a lot of new cards that have as much hp as um dynamax so there just to kind of show you an example there's masquerada and you just saw gardevoir ex who have a ton of hp and that's exactly why i'm running two regia like v max it's kind of situational uh, but we're running two regia like v to complement the two regia like v, v max at the beginning of the video we were running two miraidon ex i thought three was a little overkill so i got rid of one of them and got in a drapeon v deck to kind of try to counter out those uh what is it fusion strike mu decks that can get going right away if you don't set up right away uh we got the right uv in this video you guys saw how clutch this was in game number what it was it two three um right uv max or sorry right uv is actually very very good considering that it has the dynamic spark it has low hp so be careful when you use, use this bad um boy now we got the radiant greninja this ultimately complements us discarding our energy cards to try to you know use the falafi engine and speed up your energy whether it's with the maridon or whether it's the raichu out of this deck our main attacker is going to be maridon ex worst case scenario is going to be raichu v because it was our main attacker that's why i had three maridon ex but again at that point i just felt like three was a little bit overkill as for the trainer cards we do have four professors research this this card is actually pretty good with this deck considering that we have this in the discard pile um, just be careful when you use it, of course, and think of what cards you're sacrificing whenever you use it. We got an energy switch. This card is actually pretty good, especially if you have two Falafi on board, or even three. Um, two specifically, and you have a Maridon on, on your um, attack field or something like that, or bench, I mean. And you can go ahead and just use the energy switch to move one energy from one of your bench Pokemon, and then power it up with a third. Or, um, third energy cost that it's needing now we got three iono iono is a very very good <laughs> some people run four four is really good as well um i just figured four was very situational in this deck you don't need four um now we got two switches we have two switches specifically in the event we don't get the beach court to be honest with you you don't even need the switch you can totally get away without using the switch the primary reason why I have the switch, however, is because of the Falafi. It gets no benefit off of the beach court, so we want to make sure that we get a Falafi out of there if we need to, or even a Mareep, because this is the Pokemon that has two retreat costs, and it's not going to benefit from beach court. Escape Rope. This actually can put your opponent on a bind sometimes. It's a very good card to have. It's a very underrated card to have. You could obviously get rid of the escape rope and bring something else to the table. We got two bosses orders, and this is kind of what we were talking about earlier. You can probably get rid of an escape rope or even get rid of a switch and add a third bosses orders. Having bosses orders is actually really good. It's kind of an OP card, as you guys know, because you can get a win whenever, as long as you have one on hand. It's, very, it's a very good card. We have four electric generator. This is a very good card to have. It powers up your bench right away. And I love this card so much because it'll get you set up right away. We got three level ball, one for each um, Falafi that we're playing. Kind of self-explanatory there. We got four nest ball. As you can see, the strategy is to get the Maridon off as fast as possible so you can load up your bench. The sooner you can load up your bench, the better. And Maridon is so good because you can get a lot of cool pokemon um you guys saw the raikou in a couple matches boltound not a very good card um, as much as it used to be but um this boltown is still available um the flying pikachu is still available which is actually a, a very good card and you can have that on here and get away with it the magnezone is another very good card there's a lot you can do with the maridon you can simply put you could also get a um more peko v uh union which is um, kind of a good card. The Morpeko here, this is a really good card for for the Morpeko. And the best part is that this has two retreat costs, which is um, not too bad considering it's a B Union. Getting off topic there, but circling it back, we got three Ultra Ball. Um, I tried running four. I thought four was a little overkill. Two originally was my um, 
was my plan to run and then I kind of added four and then three is the sweet spot you can obviously run more um, if you need to be do not run less than three however because you you do need these ultra ball specifically for the Greninja and then the event that you're against something else you know you're, you're gonna need something with the ultra ball it's a very good card to have um, Arvin you could also get away without using an Arvin. I like Arvin because it lets us get any item card that we're needing at this spot and also the Defiance Band. I'm running a Defiance Band because if you have two Regieleki on board, that's 30, 60, that's 90 additional damage that you can do with the Defiance Band in the event that you're behind. Beach Court is self-explanatory. I'm running three of them. You may not even need three of them, but I'm running three of them because I want to try to get this as consistent as possible considering that Maridon is going to be our attacker. Lastly, we're running 12 energy cards. You can run more energy cards if you need to be, but I think 12 is a sweet spot for this deck. That is it for this video. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed the heck out of battle number three. That was super fun. Battle number one was fun too. So this video was a good video from the get-go. Make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more TCG videos. And I have other videos coming up as well. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not.